Tales of the Abridged is a non-profit fan parody of Tales of the Abyss, which is owned by the Namco Tales Studio. Please support the official media. Master! I'm on a boat! Do you know how old that song is? You know every pop culture reference in the world, yet something as simple as Famicry confuses you. What's Famicry? Famicry is everything from the human body to the air we breathe. It's just humans' understanding of the things that happen around us. So it's science. All humans are made up of phonons. Cells. When phonons gather, they become a sentient. Tissues. And Lorelei is a force beyond this. Its existence is only hypothetical. God. Anyway, using Famicry, humans have tried to create replicas. And no one has been able to match the phonon frequency to the original to make a perfect copy. Yeah. Didn't your teachers teach you this? I was too busy doing important things. <laughs> uh, Ninja Turtles. You said it's been seven years since you've lost your memories, right? I had a bunch of other important things to remember. Like my parents' faces, how to walk, the parental controls for the TV. What was that last one? How to walk. I'm just going to stop talking now. The show tries its best to make me out to be some cold-hearted bitch. You are a cold-hearted bitch! <laughs> There's a one-man guy shopping out there, but he keeps asking you to come out and play. Ah, I see you finally came out of hiding! Who the hell are you? Oh, it seems you didn't catch my name from earlier! I'm Dis the Rose! It doesn't matter what your name is! Who said that? I will come down there and give you a spanking! What do you want, Dis the Running? It's Rose! R-O-S-E Rose! Someone can't spell Reaper! It's not Reaper! Tell them, Jade, it's Rose! Oh, is this freak show a friend of yours? The best of friends! If by friend you mean the poor sap peony and I used to bully in school, then yes! We're simply the greatest friends in the world! You've been here for a few minutes and I'm already sick of seeing you. But Jade, that was so hurtful! Oh, I do apologize. Please take this disc as proof of my sincerity. Fool! That was acting children! But now that I have the disc, I think I'll be taking my leave. Enjoy your copy of the best moments of Eurabi's One Piece of Bridge. But this disc is blank! Exactly. Hey, you stole that joke from Little Karibo. It was only a matter of time. Stop ignoring the great disc, the rose! I shall punish you all with my super beautiful disc miracle, sweet, ultra funky, fantastic, dramatic, romantic, sadistic, erotic, exotic, athletic, gorgeous, arty! Go, Kaiser Disc R! That's the gayest robot I've ever seen. And yet somehow the name is fitted. Focus on the battle. Splash! Haha, <laughs> <laughs> magic carp. Um, Dist, did I tell you to do any of this? No, but... That's what I thought. <laughs> Is he dead? This is a cockroach. He'll survive no matter how much you try to kill him. Can cockroaches swim? You're an idiot. Congrats on your safe arrival, Master Luke and Company. Be seeing him again real soon. Please excuse General Goldberg here. He's had too many hits in the face back in his time. I made a mistake out there and I got mad. I slammed my fist into the rearview mirror and I think I broke my wrist. Guess I shouldn't have done that. Yes, I agree. Who's next? I believe I was next, sir. You think you could take the jackhammer? Yeah, we'll just be going now. I am an artist. Art has no color and no sex. Was that a Whoopi Goldberg quote? She's next! Even though it's home by name, I don't really feel like I'm there. That's because you haven't had any fresh air since you were kidnapped. Forced to live inside the manor, never discovering anything. If you want, Luke, we can take some time and discover the town together. Nice tears scares me. 
I can hear Moe's inside. Let's get in there before anything bad happens. We, we can't, can't let you through. Bitch, I'm the son of a duke. Wow, we just got punked. As we speak, Malkuth is attacking us with sharks with freaking laser beams attached to their head. Why would I want to fight sharks with laser beams? Our products with rocket launchers won't stand a chance against this newfound technology. None of this is true, Your Majesty. Moses is trying to play you for a fool. Fawn Master, we've been looking all over for you. I've been kidnapped twice by your goons. Third time's the charm. Emperor Peony the Ninth has sent Jade as well as myself to deliver a message. Oh boy, it's story time already? Uncle, Moses is a fat, smelly man, and you shouldn't listen to anything he says. Why, you insolent brat! Don't worry, nephew. You know how much I love story time. I'll have Boris read you the letter for story time today. Denera, can we go see your house now? I especially want to see your room. Alone. Why do you want to see my house? It's just a normal house. Jeez. Wow, this house is freaking huge! Silly poor person. This is my bathroom. The house is on the other side. Why is General Goldberg going around tackling people? He said something about him being next. Hey, Dad, I'm home. Oh, Luke. When did you leave? It was my fault. Yeah, yeah, just sign the Luke sign out for him next time. OMG, did someone say Luke? Nope, he was kidnapped and this time he didn't come back. Why do you insist on lying, Luke? I'd lie too to avoid dealing with you. I'm sorry, I didn't catch that servant guy. I'm sorry. You need to get over your fear. When Luke and I get married, you are going to be my servant as well. Married? Natalia is Luke's fiancée. Forcefully. Your mother fell ill after she heard of your disappearing again. You should probably go and see her. <laughs> My Luke is missing. I remember when you were first born and the doctor took you away from me. Who would have thought that people would line up at the doors to kidnap you over and over from then on? Mom, you can stop crying now I'm back. Luke, you're back. And you remember me. Please forgive me, Miss Fabra. I didn't mean to involve your son while trying to strike down my brother. Do not blame yourself, dear. It's not your fault you are extremely clumsy and managed to drag my son away from his home in order to carry out a selfish deed between siblings. I'm not even sure how to respond to that. Well, Tyr, we can all conclude that this is all your fault and you almost made this poor sickly woman die. Hm. Making someone feel lower than they already were must run in the family. <laughs> Grand Maestro Mose, are the rumors true? Are you really trying to start a war between Malkuth and Kemlaska? No, no. Those rumors aren't completely true. But they are partly true? I am only fulfilling the score. So you're saying that if thousands of people die due to a senseless war... It's the score's fault. Yes. Monsieur Luke, the king wishes to speak with you. I can leave the manor now? You're free as a bird, sir. That was the best story we had in a while. Hopefully the people will forget about what happened last time during your story time to the children ten years ago. I did what any king would do in that situation. Nothing. So is there gonna be no war? We haven't actually decided on that, boy. First we need to deal with the problem in, uh... Axereath? Is that how you say it? I, I think it's Axereath. Well, anyway, we have to deal with the... Miasma? Is that how you say it? To make a long story short, we have to rescue a town from poison. What do you mean, we? I just want to go play on the jungle gyms. For the sake of the plot, you were requested to go as a goodwill ambassador. I don't have any experience handling that. If something bad happens, it's everyone's fault except mine. The town is filled with poison and people are dying. What's worse than that, you jackass? According to this phone stone, Luke, it says that only the Kimlaskin born with red hair and named the light of the sacred flame can settle this war and bring prosperity to the lands after taking his people to the minor city. This is an end of the world prophecy waiting to happen. I'm gonna be a hero. Luke, there's something I have to discuss with you. Master, you think they'll name a bridge after me? Yeah. Why would you want a bridge? Because all the cool kids have one these days. Luke, there was more to the score. You will become a weapon of calamity and destroy the town. See, I knew this type of thing was gonna happen. There's something else I have to tell you. You're my real father? I knew it! It all makes sense now. <laughs> Hell no. 
I was the one that kidnapped you seven years ago. What? Yep, all me. Blamed Malkuf and everyone believed me. But I was only trying to rescue you from your destiny. What? Don't think about it too much. Just know that I need you. This is the first time anyone has needed me for anything. Luke, it's not the first time anyone needed you. They need you for the goodwill mission. First time anyone has needed me for anything. Fine, whatever. Just don't tell anyone I said that, okay? My lips are sealed. By the way, those are Natalia's legs. She's gonna use this as blackmail for the next episode. Just thought I'd throw that out there. There's an old saying in Tennessee, I know it's in Texas, probably in Tennessee, that says, fool me once, shame on, shame on you. <laughs> Fool me, we can't get fooled again. <laughs>